Can you see me now? So if you've ever wanted to customize your affordable synthetic wigs into vibrant colors, this video will show you how it's done. First off, you will of course need a synthetic wig that is on the blonde side. The lighter the blonde, the more vibrant your color will be. Next, you will need an alcohol-based dye in order for this whole thing to work. I found these at my local craft store in the scrapbook section. Um, basically, if you go to any sort of craft store and just ask them for an alcohol-based dye, they will point you into the direction and then pick a color that you like. Or you can go on Amazon, I'm sure, and find all sorts of options. Now, you're going to want to do this in a well-ventilated area because obviously alcohol-based things have that little funky smell. If you do this outside, I'd suggest, well, actually if you do this anywhere, I would suggest that you wear some gloves to avoid staining your hands. I am speaking from experience here. Then all you do is empty the bottle into the plastic bag, put your wig into the bag and give it a good shake and keep moving the wig until it's completely covered to your desired look. I personally went with an old school Khalees look so it's not fully covered, um, but obviously the pink one was fully covered. After you've finished with the wig and the uh, color you like, <laughs> then let it sit outside to fully dry. Once your wig is dry, the smell becomes less harsh and you won't have to worry about the color transferring to your hands. So if you give it a touch and it rubs off on your hands, let it sit out longer. Then when you're finished, you can use some hairspray to lock in the color just to ensure that you're not getting it transferred on your neck. Now with the straight hair, you're probably going to want to spray it and then let it dry again after the hairspray is on the hair. Now you definitely don't want to get these wet while you're wearing them of course, so if you're in the rain you need to like dig a hole and hide or something because you don't want this dripping down your face and your clothing. I would also avoid wearing light colored clothing to be on the safe side. This is not something that is super duper permanent, this is just like a DIY hack to get that look that you might like for either a photo shoot or an event and yeah this is just an easy way to do it. This is nothing super permanent. I hope you found this helpful anyways and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you get the alerts in your inbox telling you when I've uploaded a new video. And you can follow me on Instagram at Charmzy. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. I guess I sure met you.